Once there was a purpose, so I hear there was a God. It made it all less worthless and it gave us the because we'd all been searching for. Unarguable truth. A reason to be kind and just. A reason for the noose that sent the sinner off to sinner land and made us all feel better in the knowledge that the righteous would be right and just forever. Once there was religion and it ruled and we all had it bad. We fooled ourselves to sleep at night, said this was this and that was that. And if our morals ever shook we look no further than the book but gradually we felt the pressure it became the great oppressor and without god the war seemed crueler life seemed stranger art seemed foolish death seemed bleaker now than ever what was mankind for what terror flooded us to understand there was no point no grander plan there was just living out each day work eat sleep fuck pass a way now without the fear of retribution we found guilt-free pleasure but we lost the sense of union that had kept us all together and we needed something new to fill the emptiness that grew and what's better to believe in than all you can eat freedom the dream of being who you are by virtue of the things you buy the joy of getting rich enough to live outside the common life and now there is no virtue that exists beyond our greed now there is the worship of experience and need and we we run around these circuits, pit our grace against our greed, and all we have is surplus to what's needed, and we feed our callous little urchins in the best ways that we can, and then we wonder how they've grown to only know what's in their hands. Because now we have the screen and it rules and our kids are perma plugged into its promise and they're admiring all its jewels and our couples eat their dinner in the glimmer of its rays and we stare until we've learned the world's ways. Preteens learn what heartthrobs are. Heartthrobs gorge on hot pork and watch sport. Morality showed for us to sneer and weep at. Here's our morality at last. See us caught in full colour high definition. Look, a cripple on a blind date look young people getting fucked in magaloof look the mother of a dead son weeping irate look a celebrity eating shit and singing agadu they used to burn women who had epileptic fits they would tie you to a stake and they'd proclaim you a witch now they'll put you on the screen if you've got nice tits but you will be torn apart if you let yourself slip and they'll draw red rings around your saggy bits and they'll flick through the pictures while they eat bags of chips because you can either be a beauty or a beast or a bitch you could either be kooky or cool or kitsch look before you were damned for the things that you did or if you didn't live how the villagers lived but now you're handed the mold and told fit into this and maybe one day you could really be big behind the scenes footage of the famous last gig the backstage close-up of the singer's last twitch before she pulls a gun out and she blows herself to bits yes the world is your playground go and get your kicks as long as you're not poor or ugly or sick we never saw it coming just like all the best tricks because yes once we had the fear but now we have the fix